Hey there, homeowners! Is your Ecobee thermostat set to cool on, but your HVAC system isn't blowing any cool air? Don't worry, I'm going to show you one of the most common and fixable reasons for this. If your Ecobee screen is off or it randomly shuts down, that's a different issue. I've made separate videos on those topics. You'll see links in the top right corner or in the description below. Be sure to check those out too. But if your Ecobee is on and everything looks normal, but your HVAC fan isn't running, the most likely culprit is a bad capacitor. In this video, I'll show you how to check if your capacitor is the issue and exactly how to replace it safely. First things first, always turn off the power to your AC unit. Pull out the disconnect switch to ensure there's no electricity running to the system while you're working. Next, remove the cover to access the capacitor inside the unit. Before removing the capacitor, make a note of where each wire goes. Even better, take a photo with your phone so there's no confusion when installing the new one. Capacitors can hold a charge even when the unit is off, so be safe. Discharge the capacitor by bridging the terminals using an insulated screwdriver. Now let's test it. Set your standard multimeter to ohms, usually 2M or 2000 depending on your multimeter model. Touch the black lead to common and the red lead to herm compressor. The reading should jump. Do the same from common to fan. If there's no reading at all, like in this case, that means this side of the capacitor is bad. Before replacing the capacitor, make sure the new one matches the reading of the old one exactly. For example, this one is rated at 45 plus 5 microfarads and 440 volts AC. The new one needs to be the same. Disconnect the wires from the old capacitor and attach them to the new one just like before. Common wire goes to C, Herm wire goes to Herm or H, Fan wire goes to Fan. Make sure the new capacitor is secure and doesn't move around when the unit is running. Put the cover back on, restore power and turn on your system. And there you go. Your AC should kick on and your Ecobee will start cooling like it's supposed to. Make sure to like, subscribe and check out the other videos in the description or linked above. They cover more Ecobee troubleshooting and HVAC tips.